Thanks for joining us for This Week in Odyssey, where subscribers to Odyssey, the print MIS for marketing ideas for printers, can discover what's new in Odyssey and learn about the best practices to use Odyssey to its fullest. Let's get started. Well, welcome to Marketing Ideas for Printers this week in Odyssey webinar. This is episode number 20 already for those wanting to know. We will be presenting these webinars every other Wednesday morning. Um, please note the webinar occurs at 9 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Mountain, 11 a.m. Central, and 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Well, let's see, spring is starting. Um, I know it started in Fargo. Usually it starts a little bit later than where I'm located in Michigan. We're finally getting some sun. It's warmed up. People are wanting to get outside, so uh, we'll see who is on here today. Um, but if not, we do have this recorded as well, and I'll mention that again at the at the end of the broadcast here. So this week in Odyssey webinar focuses on release notes. If there's any noteworthy bug fixes, a few tips and tricks here and there, um, pretty much anything and everything that you would like to know about Odyssey. On today's episode. I will be going over some additional tips, or I guess they could be known as good to understand concepts um, that you may not have known about to help maximize your effectiveness when using Odyssey. Um, so to start, I'm just gonna briefly mention the help menu in the upper right. Um, if you click on this, you get a drop down of three different locations you can click on. View Odyssey documentation, that will take us to the Odyssey user guide. You can view in here, you can search, you can select a category and the, the user guide will drop down to it. You can print this off in its entirety or you could save this as a PDF if you'd like. The second option underneath the help menu is our Odyssey release notes. These are also released bi-weekly. Um, there wasn't too much I needed to go over today so that's why I'm not gonna focus on them but you can refer to these to see what's been happening in the past and what will be coming up here shortly. The third option under the help menu is open a support ticket. If you click on that, that will take you to the control center of your website where you can open a support ticket to ask us a question and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. All right, um, the next thing I wanted to quick cover, and I did cover this before, but it is a newer feature that has been highly received. Um, positively received is what we call the universal nav bar or navigation bar. This is found in the upper left corner of your Odyssey installation. Um, if you click on um, this box in the far left, there's a drop down which says Odyssey, website control center, direct mail, social marketing. Just like it says, if you were to select on the website control center, you are taken to the control center of your website. While you're in the control center of your website, if you select this upper left uh, button up here, you can route to your Odyssey. You can go to your direct mail or social marketing if you subscribe to either one of those. Now, I don't think I'm subscribed to either one, but I will click on both direct mail and social marketing. This takes me to the info center of my account. That same click would take you to the info center of your account where you can purchase or download any of your social marketing or your more recent direct mail packages that you're subscribed to. So we feel this has been quite helpful so that you don't have to log in or bookmark or remember what's the location of my website, what's the Odyssey URL. This is kind of a one-stop shop button now that you can access and go between the different um, subscriptions or different locations that you may need to access. So we're gonna go back into Odyssey. I'm gonna take away that drop down or that pop up, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna go on to those tips and tricks that I mentioned earlier. Um, this is our second or third week, I can't recall where Instead of going over something specific or maybe um, anything that might have been a new feature, I wanted to start focusing on more of the areas that maybe didn't know existed, maybe didn't know what it did, or you're like, hey, this is something I happened to see and haven't gotten into it. So we're gonna focus on, on that route again today and go over some um, tips or tricks or maybe a location that you didn't dive into as much as before um, and go over a couple locations, one of which, is going to be called departments. Um, departments are found or can be accessed in two locations. Um, one of the locations is under your team icon. 
Mine happens to be up here at the top under Team Departments. I'm going to click on that. This is where you can add, remove, edit any department. So meaning, okay, you might want to have a department for shipping or prepress. However you want to set up the process of flow in your print shop and the departments that are used, this is a location where you would set these up. I'll go over a little bit how, why this is important, but you want to make sure, and we go over this when we do our Odyssey onboarding with any new subscribers, you want to make sure that this is set up really as much as you can before you're really getting going with Odyssey later on in, the, in, the, um, in our checklist, in your setup, um, in your onboarding session. Um, basically, you can add new department up here in the upper left, uh, name it what you want, color it what you want. Um, you can always drag people or your team members into these departments. Um, but backing up, the main focus of this is departments, add what you think is needed or what you need as the process flows through your uh, floor, as your business card is flowing through, as whatever it is that's flowing through, what are the departments that are involved? That is one location that you can access departments. The other location, and I have not necessarily seen this as much or gone on my way. If you go into, I'm sorry, if you go into the resources tab um, to view all your resources in the upper left, there is also an edit departments tab. If you select on that, you are taken to the exact same place I was just showing you where you can edit, remove, add departments. So two locations that you can add, edit, or remove departments. Now, another um, reason I wanted to bring up departments is, um, you probably have seen this, but if you are not as familiar with Odyssey or the resources, every resource has to be assigned to a department. That is meaning going into a resource, whether you add it new or you select an existing resource, so Here's a 100, ground, 100 pound gloss cover paper, for example. I have assigned this to the paper department. Every resource has to be assigned and can only be assigned to one department. So you wanna make sure that, um, you know, you're setting up your resources, I'm sorry, you're setting up your departments that would be reflective of your resources and where they would be assigned. As you can see, I have paper, materials, shipping, you know, I have inks in my pre-press, I have a lot of, um, you know, binding, saddle stitch, and so forth under bindery. I have my digital presses under a press digital apartment and so forth. So all resources will be assigned to, except for this one, because apparently I haven't gone through and finished the department. I'm sorry, finished the resource. You want to make sure that your resources are assigned to a department. Um, this is graphic design. Um, we'll probably call this pre-press since this is probably going to be done before things go through, and we're going to save that. Um, when you're looking here at the main resource page, as you can see, there's a, a column called department. You can also see at a quick glance all the departments that are assigned to each resource. So we can just scroll down. This is just my example here. So let's say you have all your departments added. All your resources have been assigned to an, a department. All right, now how is departments going to be used going forth? Well, that's relating to accounting and your chart of accounts. So we're going to go back to the Odyssey dashboard or homepage. We're going to go into this accounting tab or icon. And on the left, under your company, there is a chart of accounts tab. This is where you or your accountant or whoever can add a new chart of accounts. So this is just something. Um, I put together, maybe I looked at our, we have like a demo odyssey and just wanted to throw something in here. But let's say you have all your chart of accounts added. How the departments flow or come into um, contact here is there's a departments tab on the upper right here. If you select this department tab, this is where you're assigning um, your chart of accounts to each department. So I have a pre-pressed department. Which chart of account do you want that to be assigned? I have a paper department. Which chart of account do you want that department to be assigned? How this all comes in, into play is when you're doing invoicing, 
Odyssey automatically sees the different resources are assigned to the different departments. And so those profits, costs, and so forth are automatically behind the scenes assigned to the specific chart of account. So when you go to do reporting, which I will actually go to um, in another Odyssey or this week in Odyssey webinar, you can see the breakdown of the different departments or different chart of accounts and how there's the costs or the profits assigned to the different accounts. So that's why um, it's important to assign and edit and make sure your departments are set up, make ensure that your resources are assigned to the correct department so that when you go through and there's an estimate, there's an order in your invoicing, um, as I was mentioning, Odyssey can, will automatically break out and assign, okay, this paper on this order, all the papers and all the orders, you know, if they're all assigned to the paper department, Odyssey is going to automatically behind the scenes make sure that depending on how you have your chart of accounts and your department set up, it's going to move all those costs or profits affiliated with that department to the proper account. Um, so that's why I want to mention this because it kind of all flows together and comes together at the end really with invoicing and how Odyssey is assigning amounts to the correct departments and correct chart of accounts. So that's more of a high level overview without getting too deep. Um, why it's important to make sure you can, you set up your departments ahead of time and to the best of your knowledge. You can always obviously add departments as you go, um, but as far as getting it set up as much as you can would be um, probably a good benefit of you so that when you get further down the line with your chart of accounts and invoicing, things are set up. So that is what I want to mention about departments. Switching gears a little bit, there's another area of Odyssey um, that you probably been in, you've seen, but maybe you didn't see all the different areas of this area of uh, orders, but we're going to go into the main order screen and pick an order. So orders screen has a shopping cart and I'm going to click view all. And for what I want to show you, I am just going to choose an order. It does not matter which order you go into, this view that you see here for the most part will be the same. The same in that you can see a printable job ticket, a ship label, delivery ticket, all the things on the left. The specific details under each area will change, but this look overall will be pretty much the same for every order. And so what I wanna do is go over the different sections of when you select an order, where you can do, what you can do, and what can be done. Um, so the first part, so this is order number 1012216. I'm going to show you how you can access the estimate that's affiliated with this order. There's two locations you can do that. If you scroll down on the left, down here under estimate number um, 1159, if I was to select this, I will be taken to the estimate that was affiliated with that previous order. So if you needed to make a change here, you could certainly do that. So that is one way to get to the estimate that was affiliated with that order. Um, I'm gonna go back to the order that I was just at. The other location that you can route to to get to the estimate is called this edit button up here on the upper left. It's blue, it's under the due date. If you select this, you get a pop-up. Uh, you're gonna be redirected to another page. Do you wanna continue? Yes, I would like to continue. And again, this is taking me back to estimate 1159, where if you need to, you can make adjustments to the estimate. So that is two locations um, within an order where you can be taken back to the estimate that's affiliated with the order, because every order has to have an estimate tied to it. That's how Odyssey set up. A couple other things within um, this order or any order, you can print a job ticket, and I will go over that, a ship label or a delivery ticket. With the printable job ticket, there are three versions. You can choose to show what the layout will look at, look like, how many up and so forth, and you can choose if there's multiple jobs with an order, if you would like to show all jobs on this ticket or just the one. These are all going to be uh, PDFs, and I'm just going to choose version one just as a quick example, and we'll look at the, the printout here. Here's an example of version one printout of a job ticket. All the information um, that would be needed if you need to use this on the shop floor or whatever the case is 
um, shows up on this version as well as the other two. They're just different looks depending on what your preference is and the layout, um, the text, the bolding, the color, and so forth. So that's just an example of a printable job ticket. You can also create a ship label if need be. You can indicate the, the width, length, would you like to show a logo? Um, do you want to have the ability to fill in box number one of three, for instance? There are two versions for a ship label. And um, with version two, if you were to choose version two, um, you can select the component components that you would like to show. So we're going to just choose version one, and I'm going to select PDF. Um, here's an example of what a ship label could look like. Last but not least, you could also print out a delivery ticket. You can choose to have your logo. Would you like to show the date ordered? Do you need the bill to address on there? Would you like to show the addresses on the same line um, or separate lines? Would you like to show the contact name? And do you need a line for a signature to be placed? Um, I'm just gonna leave everything yes and select make the PDF for this delivery ticket. Here's an example of a delivery ticket. If you need to have a receipt by with the date for someone to sign it, you could certainly have that as well. Those are the three um, PDF printouts that can be done for any order. And they're up here with the green uh, uh, buttons up here at the top. On the lower left, so here's the job details. You can view the order number, who's the contact, the company, and so forth, quantity. There's a show more button. I'm not sure how many folks may have gone over and scrolled down to see the show more button, but if I select that, that's exactly what it does. It does show you more info all on one screen here. Um, the estimate number, the status, here's the contact, name, email, and so forth. Um, the ship tab is showing you the affiliated shipping address um, and some information about the shipping. The business card, that's the name of the order. Um, what's the quantity ordered and the component name basically is what that's showing you. You can also select different departments if you want to see what might be going on. So um, press department, this is the sheet size, um, press sheets required and so forth, um, the ink and so forth. So there's different things depending on how you want to see it or what you want to see. If you select this blue show more on the lower left as you scroll down for an order and you can X out of that as well. Um, on the left here under task filters, if you select the blue show all button, more information about each department is showing up. So we have a paper department. Okay, what paper is being used? Specifically, we're using 100 pound gloss cover white. Your Our digital press department, okay, I want to know more, more information. My Canon digital standard is being used for this job. There's also bindery involved, which is cutting. So more information about the different departments is shown if you select more. Um, these different task filters. So has anything been scheduled? Has anything been unscheduled, meaning not started yet? Yes. Has anything been assigned? Um, nothing's been assigned to a specific employee yet. So we have three unassigned. Um, meaning no one assigned to this task, this task, or this task. Now, papers, not necessarily needing human intervention, so there isn't anybody assigned per se, but to run the press and the bindery, yes, someone would need to be assigned. But that's what these are referring to, what's been scheduled, unscheduled, what's been assigned, unassigned. Has anything been completed? Um, zero, nothing's been completed. Again, show all will open up each of these departments and show you more specifics about each department, what's being used for the job or for the order. So overall, for each order, um, you're gonna get quite a bit of information on this screen alone, as well as going to the estimate, if you go to edit or select the estimate number from down here. If this was from an order form, such as this one, um, you can be taken to the order form within your Odyssey installation. There is also a link to take you to your workflow on your website if you need to be taken to the control center of your website. So if I select this control center number, um, I'd be taken to the workflow for that specific order um, in, in my website if you needed to see this.
So there's all different very helpful pieces of information that are found for each order when you select it and, and look at the details. Um, you can also change the status of this job. Let's say it's finished and you're ready to invoice or you would like to invoice it, whatever the case may be. Uh, you can simply select ready to invoice and save new status and there's the change. So a lot of different things are happening here um, within this main orders view for each order. If you want to go back to see all orders, you would just select go to orders and all orders are showing up here. You can select a job status, but again, I won't get too deep into that. But I mainly wanted to show folks when you click on a specific order, you're taken to this page and there's different things that can be clicked on, taken to, created, whether it's a job ticket, a ship label, and so forth. I know that was a lot to digest for this edition as usual for most editions of This Week in Odyssey. Um, I do post these on our YouTube site once this has been um, uploaded and so forth. And then you can review this episode or any previous episodes at your leisure. Um, so I thought I'd mention that as well. Um, with that, I would say thank you for joining us during this edition of This Week in Odyssey. Please stick around as we have a survey at the end as we appreciate your feedback. And thank you very much. For those watching live, stick around for a two-question survey. On behalf of the whole team at Marketing Ideas for Printers, thanks for joining us.